Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jeffrey Spate. I'm the general manager of Yellow. Like all of you, I had to abandon my dreams for one reason or another. How many of us had to abandon our dreams? How many? We got laughed at. We got told we were stupid. Or we had to grow up. We had to be realistic. Or we didn't have the resources. We didn't have the support. We didn't have someone to hold our hand and show us this is how we do it. This is how you achieve your dream. I went for that. I want to be a video gamer. I want to sit at home and play video games. But that dream got me laughed at a lot. I got told me that was stupid. That had to grow up. That ain't a real job. I didn't have the resources. I didn't have the support. I didn't have someone to show me this is the way. But when all hope seemed lost, I met Jamal Garner, the founder of Yellow. Thank you, Jeff. Like you said, my name is Jamal Gardner and I'm the founder of YOLO and I too have abandoned my dreams for one reason or another. My main problem was fitting in. Fitting in and trying to be a business owner or whatever my dreams were at the time never coincided. They weren't in sync or syncopated as so many would like to say. Problem with that is I was doing one thing and trying to be somebody else and realized that it doesn't work. Then I had a son, and anybody who's ever had a child knows that your dreams at that moment change. They're not the same. You might have let one go to help theirs. But one thing came in common with that idea is every parent isn't given a manual. When you're at that hospital and you're holding that child, no one hands you a manual and says, hey, let's walk down this road Let's make this great person over here. Why not? Every child has a dream, and no one walks them down that road. Well, that's what Yellow does. That's what our jo job is. See, Malcolm Forbes said, success follows doing what you want to do. There's no other way to be successful. So our job is to create a way for you to find success. It's individual. Every man, woman, and child has a dream. Whether that dream has changed, whether that dream is a new dream for today, there's still no one to walk us down the way. See, nothing liberates our greatness like the desire to help or the desire to serve. And that's what Marian Williamson said, and that's where I envisioned YOLO. I want to help. I want to help people find their dreams. This is my dream, helping people find theirs. So Yolo creates roadmaps for your life. And our target market happens to be inmates because if anyone's dreams are broken, it's got to be them. So what you see here is a sample of Jeff's choices in his roadmap. We have an application that if anybody wants to see afterwards, <coughs> feel free. But this application basically asks you, what are your dreams? What kind of house do you want to live in? What community would you like to live in? And then I try to find a way to refine that dream, balance that dream, make that dream a reality. Whether it means going to school, no school, two years of school, four years of school. But either way, down the road, you're going to run across all these little places and stops in your dream. So we create an outline. And it's going to have points that you have to meet, things that you have to do. And for every inmate, there are things they can do right now. So in the beginning, of every one of these roadmaps you'll see now and release. Because we're all getting out. Everyone here is getting out. And our market has 7,500 people that are getting out. And we did a survey where 90% of people were more than willing to pay for someone to help them find their dreams. So we created this little system where we have a point-to-point -point outline. And the point-to-point -point outline basically has everything you can do with my help right now, between now and release. This is a semi-sample of Jess, which has changed. And as you can see down at the bottom, it is open for change. Things may change. The dream may change, and I understand that. But as the dream changes, so does the help. On the other side of this, you see a duty sheet. 
Three issues to hold both of us accountable, not just the inmate, but YOLO. I want the inmate to know exactly what YOLO is going to bring to the table for him every month when we see that. But I also want the inmate to understand that he has things to do because this brings me to the magic of YOLO. YOLO. It's not about the resources. It's really not about the support. The magic is the customer. It's their dedication. It's their dream. I'm only helping them get there. So what YOLO is designed to do is create darts that hit a bullseye. YOLO brings you dedication, assistance, resources, the trajectory, and the support to become this dart to hit that bullseye of your dream. Now, how do we make money? Of course, every investor wants to know that. Well, YOLO starts with a $15 a month fee where we will see an inmate once a month, discuss what their, their needs are, discuss what their options are, discuss the things that they need to do to prepare themselves to get to this dream. We also have a $20 special project fee because we understand that there are inmates who will want nothing to do with YOLO but still need some support in some sort of way, some sort of research on something. We want to open that up to all of them and give them that opportunity to say, hey, can you look this up for me? Can you give me everything I need to know on this? Absolutely. And for those who are members of us, we're offering $5 off the following month to increase our ability with word of mouth. Because what we have learned as inmates, if there is ever a way for us to save money, most of us take it. So that brings me to my projections. Now these projections are literally just based on the monthly service and our idea of what will happen via word of mouth for the inmates. So we're figuring for the eight prisons that we have to service, we'll get 150 people at $15 a month. And every month out of that 150, we're gonna increase by about 50 people just based on word of mouth because we figure at least 50 people will try to save $5 off the next month. Now, every quarter we're gonna end up having an event, just like we had in the first one, to basically draw people in. So we figure on top of the 50 that will be given to us word of mouth, we'll pull another 50, because they'll see exactly what's happening. In the end of the year, we should have about 850 people and brought in about $78,000, a little less. Now, cost. Our major cost, without a doubt, is wages. Office supplies and all that, it's really nothing. And the benefit of our business is, as these guys get out, if they need a job, I can teach them to do the research quite easily. So can we expand using inmates? Absolutely. Do I want to keep inmates? Not unless they want to stay with me. I want them to achieve their dreams. That is the goal. So our startup costs end up being around $30,000 one time. However, we'd be asking about $100,000 to sustain us throughout the entire year comfortably. By the end of the second year, we're figuring we can pay that back by growing 800 people just in the prison system alone with 15% interest. However, we have an interesting marketing plan that Jeff's going to share with you for the next five years that should take us way into big bucks. Jeff? First, Yellow has got a special event every three months with refreshments. We will post that about the Yellow's special event on DOC newsletters. We will reach out to transition coordinators, counselors, and other DOC funded programs about Yellow. Say, hey, help us out. We will have a Yellow representative come into the prison with flyers say, hey, check this out. We're going to help you achieve your dreams. We're going to show you how. Then comes the big event. Our yellow representative will be there with success stories telling people, hey, this is what yellow's about. 
This is our purpose. This is what, what our dream is for you. This is how we're going to do it. With applications for those who decide to sign up. You know, the second year, we will expand to the eight prison, the eight jails, I mean, the eight jails surrounding the eight prisons doing the exact same thing we did. You know, this third year, we will expand to the rest of the state of Oregon prisons and jails. Then comes the fourth year. You know, this fourth year, we will expand to the public, colleges, schools, churches, outreach programs, fairs. And then the real magic begins. We will replicate year one through four in our state and hopefully, possibly, to the federal prison system. Jamal? Is it ambitious in one hand? Yes. Is it conservative on the other? Yes. And where's the current status of yellow today? It's a baby trying to grow, which I am trying to lead it with absolutely no money in my pocket, just my blood, sweat, and tears. Right now I have two prototypes. Jeff, as you can see here, me and Jeff work constantly on the research for him to be a video game. There are things that Jeff had no clue that he would need to know, one of them being Word and Excel. Being a video game tester, it's not going to happen without it. What Jeff found out is that they offer Word and Excel classes here. Not many inmates even know that. So understanding what his dream was, we figured out what things he could do today. The other person on the other side is my buddy Jerome, who gets out in 20 days from today. And he has huge ambitious ideas. He wants to own a barbershop, but he also wants to go to school for botany. And when I talked to him about his reason to go to school for botany, it touched me. He grew up on a reservation, he's Native American, and he wanted to figure out a way to give people a way to feed themselves. His attempt to cure world hunger inspired me to ask him to be a, another prototype for me. So I work hand in hand, day in and day out with him. And already he has applied to go to Lane Community College when he gets out to study botany. That's all I'm asking from these guys right now. Not a dime, not a penny, not a nickel. Just the same blood, sweat, and tears I give. Dedicate yourself to your dream, and you'll help me with mine. My goal is to take all of us to our dreams. Which brings me to what YOLO is. YOLO is sort of an acronym, you only live once. And it's true, you only live once. Unless you believe in reincarnation, and then you might live a couple times. But either way, you might as well live your life to the fullest. So YOLO has this motto, and we'd like to share it with you. You only live once, so start achieving your dreams now. Thank you. Any questions? Questions? Don't be shy. <laughs> more shy than I am. I'm, I'm usually not the shy one, so feel free, fire away. <laughs> so how would you do the meetings? Are you waiting until you release, and then you come back and do the meetings? And in which case, how are you going to get from the different institutions, travel costs? <clears throat> we have already decided that we will have to hire someone. The goal for the first year is actually to hire about three people who can travel in and out of the prison. We have factored in the travel costs with our monthly cost. We don't want to wait. And we know that being inmates, we would have to wait five years to come back into a prison and try to help the rest of these guys. We don't really have competition in a sense. We don't want competition. Our goal is to make the world a better place. However, part of our competition is sitting in the room. 
Social admission is our competition. But rather than be our competition, we'd rather create bonds. So that's why we wanted to reach out to all the programs that are here. But the goal is, yes, to hire other people who can start this now. Not to wait till tomorrow or five years down the road when I have the possibility of coming back. And sure, I will, even though, Lord knows, when you get out, you don't want to come back. But if I'm coming back for the right reasons, why not? Any other questions? You had a projection of 150 people um, that you would see in one person. 150 people in the first month, like 30 days, mm -hmm. uh, one person could do that physically. Well, I do agree that it would be rough for one person to do it physically for the first three days. Do I think it's possible? Absolutely. Oh. Um, and I'll tell you, the, the prisons themselves are, are sort of spread out and we're figuring with that 150 people, the conversations won't really last long. They're not going to necessarily be tailored to sitting down with a person for hours to try to figure out some things. Because we're going to try and tackle the dreams in segments. So as you're getting to this, as you're getting to one step, we're already going to be preparing ourselves to get you to the next step. So the conversations that we're having, or that should be had with inmates, should only last about 20 minutes. So is it possible Yes, is it going to be tasking on that person? Absolutely. And that is the reason that immediately within the first year, I'm trying to hire three, which that's the money that I'm asking for. Awesome colors. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you work with uh, people being released within the first five years? The goal of YOLO is to help people achieve their dreams and it, we did have this conversation in, but it really isn't about release. I know a couple guys who I've talked to about this actually via letter since this class started and they have dreams that are tangible because that is the thing that YOLO basically offers you. It's something that you can hold, a paycheck you can hold, uh, a car you can hold. They're tangible things. I can't teach you to be a great guy in a relationship. I can give you the resources of the people who can, if that's your dream. So in one sense, yes, I would like to help everybody who's getting out within the, the, the next five years, within the next 10 days. But it doesn't stop at the, those people. If you're going to be here, you might as well have the best life you can have if you're going to be here for long periods of time. And you have dreams even if you're here for long periods of time. Can Yolo help you with those dreams? Absolutely. Thank you.